Hey YouTube, I'm Derek. Welcome back to my channel. I do have a lot of stuff going on. I got a lot of junk on the workbench. I'm trying to get a few little things out of the way today. One of those things I wanted to make a specific video on was this uh, turning this air tank or this old air compressor into a portable air tank. So just to give you a close up of what I'm actually going to be putting onto this uh, air compressor tank. Uh, I've got the original PRV or pressure release valve. What's weird is it's rated at 125 PSI and this air tank's rated at 110 PSI. So I don't know why they're not using 110 PSI PRV. Anyway, it is a little bit of a menagerie of parts, but I'm gonna go to this T. This T's gonna thread down into the pressure, air, uh, into the air tank. And then I'm going to thread this T into that T, put in my filler valve. And then from this end of the T, we're gonna hit a quarter inch, or three, I think it's three eighths inch valve, and a uh, connection for uh, 3 8 inch air tool or air hose. So I used to be a service plumber and one of the things I learned when I first started was that you want to run your PTFE tape with uh, the way your threads are going to go otherwise you can back off that uh, pipe thread tape, the sealant tape when you thread it in if you put it opposite of the way that it's going to go. The other thing is with this uh, thinner white tape, with the white tape you probably want to go around like four or five times. I had a field supervisor, his name was Dennis, really cool guy. I learned a lot from him. He always made such a big deal of us using too much pipe dope. You don't have to use very much. Just get that started in there. Then again, just a little pipe dope. I probably have a little too much on there, more than I need. Try and keep everything nice and straight. Okay, the T is now in. So we have the PRV back here, the T going into the tank, the T coming out of the tank. The valve and now i'm going to put the uh, quick connect fitting here inside the valve and put the filler valve back here on this end of the t actually i completely forgot i've got this uh, little hose remnant here that i used to use for something else i'm going to be just threading this directly into the uh, valve here i'm not going to use the quick connect besides i just remembered that's the uh, wrong end for the quick connect to be on anyway. So it's not a perfect setup, but it definitely will work. So I've got everything pretty tight. I probably should have gone one or two more threads on this T because it's a little bit wiggly, uh, but I'll just try and be careful with it. But uh, uh, the other thing is I wish I could have put a gauge on it. I actually do have the gauges from the air compressor. The problem is that they're quarter inch and this is all 3 8 inch stuff. I've got this air chuck laying around. So we'll get the air chuck tightened on there. So yeah, now I'm gonna get this thing filled up. I gotta get the air compressor filled up first itself. Then I gotta get this thing filled up and uh, we'll try it out, show you how it works. So this is the uh, axle and wheels that I uh, modified my Predator 8750 to fit. It's the axle so that with uh, some nice pneumatic rubber tires, I say nice, they're not that nice, they just work. And uh, so I can roll it around on the dirt, but then I made that new trailer and I don't need them anymore. So I've got them sitting around here waiting for the next thing to go on. So uh, as you can tell, it's totally empty with air. Get that valve put back in there. It's nice and tight. So let's just pretend like my air compressor is not here. This is some piece of equipment that my hose reel can't reach to. So I just go fill this thing up, make it nice and easy and portable. I just filled up my air hose, walk over to this thing and fill it up with air. Maybe if it'll let me. Come on, you piece of junk. Then I have to walk back to my shop, grab my pliers, cause the uh, 
thing's being stubborn. Hold it out so I can fill it with some air. There's definitely air in there now. It says max load 30 PSI. I probably only really want like 25 in there. Whoa, we're way above that. So I'll just quickly take it down. And now we're at 30 PSI. So that is essentially the reason for the air tank, why I like uh, why I wanted to do this little portable air tank idea. Now I actually already have one of these from Harbor Freight. It cost me somewhere around like 30 to $40. It's a bigger tank. I just don't like throwing good things away. So I thought I'd just make another one out of these. Keep it for myself or whatever I do with it. Thanks for watching guys. Hope that you had some use, found some use out of this video and enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, please go click subscribe. And if you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next video.